Okay, let's begin chapter number one. The title is From Cells to Organisms. And in this first class, I will make you clear in the very first objective of the chapter that why cells are considered as the basic units of life. So when we see the title page of this chapter, as we always do in the class, the title page of this chapter is showing that some surface, some big surface is made up of these smaller bodies or units. Look at the shapes. They, they seem to be spherical and they are more or less similar in size. Okay, when we go ahead, we see what is a cell. Where do we find cells? So cell is best defined as the basic unit or of structure and the function of life. So the cell in shorthand is defined as the basic structural and function, functional unit of life. In other words, cell make up living things and they carry out the activities that keep our living things alive. It sounds more bookish. When we see things around us, Okay, here we see these different size and different shape houses are made up of different kinds of bricks. So we see different numbers and types of bricks are must be used to build a variety of houses. And each house can be broken down into the single pieces of bricks. So therefore, therefore we can say that the brick is the structural unit of a house or of a building. Similarly, a class is made up of so many students. Now, the next is what makes a cell. A cell is a living thing and cells are capable of holding all the processes which are required to sustain the process of life. And a very interesting fact about cells that new cells can only come from pre-existing cells. Let's have a look on the history. I'm sure you will be asking yourselves that who was the first person who recognized or invented or uh, defined the cells? It was a scientist who was named Robert Hooke. This man lived in a Britain and he took a piece of bark from an old oak tree and look at it through the microscope. And he, he found that these uh, smaller pieces which make up of like you see the picture in your textbook is he saw the cork is made up of very smaller particle or packets or units closely packed together so he called all such units as cells then when we see the life is everywhere when we see the very smaller organisms which are mostly made up of only one cell such as amoeba, paramecium, euglena, algae and many more. And further, when we see insects, fish, very big trees, jellyfishes, flowers and mosses and ferns and the human being, not, not the least. So we see, now the pictures from your textbook, different kinds of organisms are around us. Some of them can be seen, some of them cannot be seen. So we need an instrument, a specially designed instrument to see them. Here comes the microscope. The micro 